fast. That's okay. Good afternoon, students. Let's start with the chapter The Landscape of Soul. Landscape of Soul. Yesterday, we discussed about the brief summary introduction part of the chapter, and I think uh, it was all clear. Also, let's start reading the chapter in details. Yes, come on. Try to join fast with the students. Be active, be fast. Then, eight students. Come on, come on. We'll start reading the chapter. Okay, landscape of the soul. Actually, in this chapter, there are two uh, arts, two types of arts or painting. The comparison is made. European painting and the Chinese painting. European and Chinese painting, both type of painting, the comparison is made. It means the painter or the artist. Uh, what type of artist uh, he wants the viewers to view their uh, arts from which angle? Means whether it is plural angle, figurative, or whatever inside some uh, in wide place. What is the importance of wide place in a uh, painting? Okay, let's start reading the chapter and we'll read in detail now. Okay, let's start this one. Okay. Okay, students, uh, <clears throat> landscape of the soul. A wonderful old tale is told about the painter Wu Daoji. Wu Daoji, yesterday in, uh, we discussed about Wu Daoji. Who was that Wu Daoji? He was a painter in 8th century, 8th century by a painter who lived in the 8th century. His last painting was a landscape. Uski jo last painting thi. Why it was called last painting? Because when the king, he wanted to praise that one. He wanted to see that one. At that time, he told it, whatever you have seen outside, it is not a real painting. It is not the uh, sense of the painting. And what then he told, okay, I want to show you this. In this painting, there is a uh, actually a mysterious spirit lives. Par koi atma rehti hai. And he uh, just clapped the hand and one door opened. One door opened. And he went, he, he told that it is very wonderful uh, from inside. And he went inside. And when he went inside, the door closed. Uske baad uska band ho gaya tha. And he disappeared. And all of a sudden, before any reaction from the emperor, usse pehle ki koi reaction ho, the, uh, the painting itself disappeared from the wall. Se to disappear so that is a very mysterious story. That's why it was called the last painting. And his last painting was the landscape commissioned by the Tang Emperor Jiang. Tang uh, by the Tang Emperor Tang ke jo emperor the commissioned order. Commission means ordered. You can note down the word meaning side by side. Commissioned, ordered by the uh, Tang Emperor Jiang. It's a name. Okay. To decorate the palace wall. Palace wall to decorate the meeting. It was ordered. So ordered to be. The master had hidden his work behind a screen. Master ne uske ek screen ke niche apna work, whatever the painting, whatever the artistic uh, uh, he wants to show. Do we arts dikhana chata tha? Behind. So only the emperor would see it. Keval usko emperor hi aakar dek sakta tha. And for a long while, kafi samay tak, the emperor admired the wonderful scene. Usne when he saw the, uh, this painting, us painting ko dekha, he admired, he praised, admired, praised uski person sa karna. Discovering forest because what are the things were painted there on the panel? Uh, forest, mountains, waterfall, clouds, and floating in an immense sky, immense spread. In rather you can say uh, uh, very lengthy and very vast uh, sky. Men on hilly path, men, birds in flight, all these things. These sort of scenes were there on the panel. This panel for is Sometimes there can be a question, okay, what are the things shown on the panel, the panel for the latest panel, the landscape of school, what were the things painted, kya kya chiz painting thi? Uh, actually you can uh, write this one, the scene, high mountains, waterfall, clouds floating, uh, clouds floating in the sky, you can write like this, men on hilly paths and the birds in flight. And look, sir, uh, sir, this is word has been given, so it is a respective word, use for king and all. Look, sir, said the painter. In this cave, at the uh, at the foot of the mountain, at the foot of the mountain, he made a cave. And 
ड्वेल्स स्पिट उसने कहा ड्वेल्स रिसाइड स्टेइंग रह रही है वहां पर एक आत्मा रहती है द पेंटर क्लैप हिज हैंड पेंटर ने वहां पर क्लैपिंग की ताली बजाई एंड एंट्रेंस टू द केव ओपन एंट्रेंस वहां से ओपन हो गया समटाइम व्हाट वाज द एक्चुअली सीक्रेट इन द पेंटिंग क्या पेंटिंग में सीक्रेट था यू हैव टू राइट आउट दिस थिंग्स ए कंप्लीट सीन इनसाइड द स्प्लेंडिड बियॉन्ड एनीथिंग वर्ल्ड कैन कन्वे एंड इनसाइड वाज वेरी स्प्लेंडिड शानदार वेरी ब्यूटीफुल एंड नो वर्ल्ड कैन डिस्क्राइब द ब्यूटी ऑफ दैट यू सी इनसाइड उसके जो अंदर की ब्यूटी थी बर्ड्स आर मतलब फॉलिंग शो उसके लिए बर्ड्स छोटे पड़ रहे थे प्लीज लेट मी शो यूर मेजेस्टी मेजेस्टी मीन नॉर्मली वी आर यूजिंग द रेस्पेक्टेबल वर्ड फॉर द किंग एंड ऑल किंग एम्प्रर एंड ऑल इनके लिए वी आर यूजिंग मेजेस्टी मीन इनके लिए यूर मेजेस्टी द वे द पेंटर एंटर द केव एंड ही एंटर द केव उसने कहा आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू एक्चुअली वॉट इज द रियल आर्टिस्ट यहाँ पर रियल आर्ट्स क्या है एंड ही एंटर्ड इन टू द but the entrance closed behind him like you say actually wanted to take the uh, king also he wanted to lead the king inside the cave but the painting uh, that door closed then and before the astonished emperor astonished surprised astonished surprised and uh, emperor could move uh, utter or word matlab wo kuch move karta aur unable to see any word any word the painting had vanished from the wall wall she painting so as Vanished, disappeared. Vanished means disappeared. And not a trace of who Daoji brush was left. You see, brush even the brush was left. Means there was no trace of who Daoji, that painter, who lived in the eighth century. Who eighth century में रहता था उस painter का कोई भी अता पता नहीं था. It means it was his last painting. What was the name of last painting? Uh, it was landscape of soul. What are the things he painted on that one? You can uh, see the high mountains, waterfall, clouds, floating. Uh, clouds floating in the sky, man hindi path and flights and like this. And what was the strange about the painting? Actually, he told uh, emperor to look at the that in this painting, uh, just at the foot of the mountain there is a cave, a kind of cave, and a spirit lives there. And he wanted to show to the king emperor, who the emperor could be found at that. So that what did he do? He clapped his hand, the door opened, he went inside. It was a splendor, even the beauty of that the cave. Uh, the words could not describe. We cannot describe with the words. Words, for that reason, words fall short to describe the beauty of that cave. Us cave ki beauty ko describe karne ke liye word kam pad ja rahe. And when he opened, when he went inside, the door closed behind. Uske piche se do door wo band ho gaya tha. And then before the uh, king, means uh, he was the king was totally surprised. And before he could move or say a word, the uh, painting itself disappeared from the wall. And what a trace of two thousand years plus. उसके बाद उसका कोई भी पता पता नहीं था वो डाउजी आई थिंक यू ट्राई टू नोट डाउन द वर्ड्स ओके मीनिंग्स व्हाट एवर साइड वाइज ओके एंड दस लेफ्ट एंड द आर्टिस्ट वाज नेवर सीन अगेन इन दिस वर्ल्ड इट मींस ही वाज नो मोर अवेलेबल इन दिस वर्ल्ड यहां पर नहीं था वेरियस फॉर नो वन कोई नहीं पता सच स्टोरी प्लेड एन इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन चाइनीज क्लासिकल एजुकेशन मींस दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टोरीज आर अ पार्ट ऑफ क्लासिकल एजुकेशन उनकी एजुकेशन का पार्ट है दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टोरीज आर देयर and the books of the confucius and the zhuangzi are the full of them yeah, these are the name of the books these are full of such type of stories these stories is that is to say these books are such, uh, full of that and they help the master to guide the disciple in the right direction and they help the master master means teacher or tutor rather than say and help is disciple disciple uh, rather than say training apne training ko right direction mein guide karne ke liye these are very helpful and beyond the anecdote They are beyond the anecdote, all these small stories beyond that one, and they are deeply revealing the spirit in the in which the art was concerned. They are deeply revealing, revealing means disclosing the spirit uh, in which the art was concerned. इस तरह से आर्ट बनाई गई हैं, but the spirit behind that, उसके पीछे क्या है, and everything is disclosed, बताया गया है. Contrast to this story and opposite to that means this was the uh, story that is the example of the Chinese uh, uh, art, Chinese art. The another famous one of the painter who would not die eye of a dragon and he painted or he would fly out of painting. मतलब कि another famous uh, one uh, famous story is about that. Another famous one about a painter, a painter के बारे में and who would not draw the eye of a dragon? I need uh, draw कर रहा था because one side of rather than say snake which emits fire जो fire निकलती है जिसके मुंह से and he had painted for fear it would fly out 
बेल्जियम का नाम रीजन इन बेल्जियम ये एक रीजन है द नेम ऑफ दिस ओके आई मोस्ट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द वेस्टर्न पेंटिंग ये सारे वेस्टर्न पेंटिंग के एक एग्जांपल एंड इन द 15th सेंचुरी और एक 15th सेंचुरी में मींस स्ट्रेट वे फ्रॉम द 8th सेंचुरी 15th सेंचुरी एज द एंट्रेप ऑफ मास्टर ब्लैक स्मिथ एक नाम है इसका एंट्रेप ए मास्टर ब्लैक स्मिथ एक मास्टर ब्लैक स्मिथ का मास्टर में वेरी परफेक्ट वेरी स्किलफुल इन द आर्ट ऑफ डीलिंग विद द आयरन एंड ऑल लोहे का जो काम करने वाले होते हैं लोहार में and called the quentin mestis fell in love a master blacksmith a master blacksmith tha who fell in love with a, a with a painter's daughter a painter's daughter ke sath uska love and he was sure the father would not accept a son in law in such profession this profession mein the father would not accept him as a son in law apna damad ko banane ke liye taiyar ho with such a profession what was the profession of that man uh, it was a blacksmith now what did he do usne kya kiya so Quentin sneaked into the paint, uh, painter's studio. Sneak went into doing. Okay, went into the painter's studio. Painted a fly on the latest panel. Latest panel is whatever the latest new panel where the uh, he was painting something. On that he painted a fly. A monkey was he painted. Painted uh, on the such and with such a delicate realism. Delicate realism means what? It looked like a real. Means it could cheat. Uh, it could Deceive anyone. It could deceive anyone. It looked like a real one, a real kitra one way. With such delicate realism that the master tried to swipe it away. Master means he was a painter, and if he is unable to identify whether it was a real or it was a painting, certainly it could be a master. A both yet some master piece of art. If a painter, see for the normal viewers and all, these sort of things can happen. This is the thing that most normal person know. For the painter, if he is confused, or if he is unable to identify whether it was a real or it was only a painting, it means certainly uh, it was a very masterpiece. Okay, then he uh, realized that who had happened, and the master tried to set before he realized that what had happened, or before he realized, I mean, after that he realized that what had happened, what happened, and the quintain was immediately admitted. Uh, Quentin was immediately admitted as an apprentice into his studio. After his studio, he was to apprentice. Apprentice means new learner. He admitted him. He was to accept that he was not new. Because he was a blacksmith, and uh, he fell in love with the daughter of a painter. Now, as a blacksmith, he would not be accepted. He was to accept not to do it. So, he wanted to learn this painting and all arts and all, and that's why he was admitted. Because when he painted the fly in so beautifully. and he was so much impressed that he asked him to join as a apprentice usko apprentice ki tarah join karna shuru kar diya apprentice new learner apprentice means new learner under training under training into the studio and he married his love he loved means to whom he loved his ko pyar karta tha he married and went on to become one of the most famous painter of his age aur apne time ka he became a very famous painter this is the another story uh, of his age and these two story illustrate uh, what each form of art is trying to achieve it means both these story they are telling that what the artist was trying to achieve see uh, he painted satya and he went and he disappeared who doubt it he disappeared because of what he wanted to convey through the uh, this one uh, painting and the second one he was a blacksmith but he became a famous painter and trying to achieve a perfect illusionistic uh, illusionistic which can deceive anyone illusionistic which can deceive anyone and the likeness in the europe and it is in europe the essence inner life and spirit in asia and the essence of inner life uska jo essence hai essence means sara theme whatever the uh, theme is there and the spirit in asia uski asia mein but in the chinese story of chinese story mein emperor commissioned a painting and appreciation is outer appearance 
and the Chinese story, the emperor commissioned a painting. But he was trying to only appreciate the outer side of this one. Uska outer side, he wanted to just uh, appreciate. Uska appreciate karna tha. That the king, he ordered a painting to Wu Daoji just to decorate the uh, palace wall. Uski jo palace wall thi, he wanted to decorate that. And he was praising only outer, whatever it was available on the panel. Us panel par jo bhi available. But the artist reveals him the true meaning of his work. Like an artist, he reveals, he disclosed the true meaning of his art. Uska sahi meaning usne bataat gaya. And uh, meaning of the work. The emperor may rule over the territory he has conquered. He told the ang uh, that emperor may rule over the territory. He can rule over that. He can rule over that. But only the artist knows the way within. But only the artist knows the way within. Way means in soul, in atma, in spirit rather than soul. Let me show the way, the Tao. He said, I will show you the Tao. The word that means the path. Tao means the word. Tao is a Chinese word and the meaning is path. It means the painter knows the way. Usko raaste ka pata hai. The king may rule over the territory. O, a territory ke upar rule kar sakta hai. But who is uh, directing the path? Who is showing the path? Who is the painter? Ye painter hai, artist. And let me show the way. Uh, the, the, and a word that means the path. Both the path or the method. Or how to rule. And what is the path for the ruling? What is the path for the ruling? And the mysterious works of the universe. And these are the mysterious but very surprising secrets. And painting is gone, and the painting that disappeared, and but the artist had reached his goal. Means he has attained the success. Means whatever he wanted to show, he has achieved that. Musne achieved that. Beyond any materialist appearance, beyond any materialistic material appearance, material appearance means physical appearance. Though the physical appearance, it was beyond that. Okay. Now, uh, a classical Chinese landscape is not meant to reproduce an actual view. See, classical Chinese landscape. Landscape means the space provided between the painting. It is not to reproduce an actual view. It is actual view produce as would be the Western figurative uh, painting. The Western figurative painting. Figurative is only outer side painting. And whereas the European painter wants you to borrow his eyes, it means this is the Different angles actually both the painters they want. It means European painters or the Chinese painters. They want their eyes. One wants soul and one wants the eyes of the painter. Painter ki eyes chakne, so that you can uh, come to know about the essence of the painting. This painting the essence kya hai. Whereas the European painter wants you to borrow his eyes. Means from the angle of the painter only you should see the painting. After the painting angle. Uh, painter the angle say whatever the painter wants to show you have to see like that and look at the particular landscape exactly as he saw it means as the painter saw it he wants the viewers he wants the audience to see in that way se the, audience. So the painter wants and the from a specific angle if we say specific angle the china uh, the chinese painter does not choose a single viewpoint Means he is not following only one point, the Chinese painter. They are not choosing one point. Means uh, the European painter, they want to borrow his eye, borrow painter's eye to see the painting. It means whatever they want to show, they want that the viewers or the audience should see that. Keval wo cha, jo painter chata hai, keval wo chata hai, ke, jo dekhne wale hai, dehi cheez dehi. But Chinese painter, they want different angles, alag alag angles, plural views rather. And his landscape is not a real one because whatever landscape is there in the painting, it is not a real, it is a, just a wide place actually. It is a wide place and you can enter it from any point, means you can enter it from anywhere. You can see the, uh, uh, see the art, the essence of art from anywhere, any point and that travel in it. And the artist creates a path for your eyes, means he creates a path just like in the Wu Daoji. He told that there is a door where you can enter into the cave of that painting. Usme enter kar sakte. To travel up and down and then back or again. But in that one, the painter has achieved whatever he wanted to achieve through that painting. 
उस पेंटिंग के द्वारा पेंटर ने वो अचीव कर दिया था कि वो अचीव करना चाहते इन ए डिजरली मोमेंट विच ए वेरी फ्रीली मोमेंट विदाउट एनी केयर दिस इज इवन मोर ट्रू इन केस ऑफ एन ओरिजेंटल स्टोल ओरिजेंटल वेन पेंटिंग इज डन ऑन द एनी पेपर एंड इट इज रोल्ड इन ओरिजेंटली ओरिजेंटली होता वर्टिकली वन इज वर्टिकली एंड अनदर वन इज ओरिजेंटली ओरिजेंटली रोल्ड इन केस ऑफ ओरिजेंटल स्टोल इन विच द एक्शन ऑफ द slowly opening one section of painting means when the, uh, you are rolling horizontally it means the action of the one part of the painting slowly it is opening and painting and then rolling it up to move on to the other side means it start rolling from one side to another side another side if you are rolling anything in a horizontal vertically it comes on and adds a dimension of time and it adds a dimension dimension area rather you can say of time and which is unknown to any other form of painting means other type western painting or you can say european painting it is more there but in chinese this sort of things are available and it also requires the active participation of the viewers it means the chinese painting it requires the active participation as you are seeing the example of that wu dao ji the king he, he praised he appreciated the only whatever he saw there but whatever it was there in the landscape and the interaction between uh, yin and yang yesterday we talked about yin and yang okay uh, uh, we will again go through the questions and all what is the meaning of yin and yang that is water and mountain these are the male and female other characters uh, we will come or we will go through that you were who decide to what pace he will travel through the painting even the speed what pace what is what should be the speed to go through the painting is painting no because the scroll when it is moving slowly it means slowly slowly you come to know about the real painting the sense of the painting and to decide what pace the travel through the painting a participation which is physically as well as mentally it means physically whatever you see but whatever it is not being observed physically it means mentally what is the message or what message the painter wants to give to the painting इसमें क्या पेंटिंग इट इज वन शॉर्ट ऑफ आर्ट लाइक राइटिंग पोइट्री और राइटिंग सम पीस ऑफ राइटिंग इट्स आल्सो आर्ट्स पार्टिसिपेशन विच इज फिजिकली एज वेल द चाइनीज पेंटर डज नॉट वांट यू टू बोरो हिज आईज चाइनीज पेंटर वेयर एज द यूरोपियन पेरेंट पेंटर ही वांट्स यू टू बोरो हिज आईज इट मींस द यूरोपियन पेंटर ही वांट्स दैट यू शुड सी द पेंटिंग फ्रॉम द एंगल व्हिच पेंटर वांट्स जिस तरह का पेंटर वांट चाहता है कि इस तरह से देखे तो यू आर टू बोरो बट नॉट इन चाइनीज एंड ही वॉन्ट्स यू टू एंटर इज माइंड मीन्स ही वॉन्ट्स टू एंटर इज माइंड वॉट ही वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट टू दिस पेंटिंग उस पेंटिंग से वो क्या क्रिएट करना चाहता यू कैन अगेन गो थ्रू द सेम एग्जाम्पल वू दाव जी दिस वन वू दाव जी द किंग ही जस्ट एप्रिशिएटेड वट एवर ही सा बट वट एवर द पेंटर वॉन्टेड टू नो ही so that's why he wanted to go into the mind of the painter mind of the painter whatever he has designed whatever it is not physically uh, uh, visible and what is the uh, rather you can say interaction uh, void what is the importance of that wide space void space the chinese painter does not want you to borrow his eyes he want you to enter through his mind the landscape is an inner one spiritual landscape that is the place void place it is inner one it is spiritual it is spiritual not physically available sometime it is very blank only but it has got a very deep meaning and conceptual space conceptual when the uh, conceptual basics what what action has taken place between the yin and yang that is concept of that one is okay that is the purpose of this landscape of the so landscape of the so okay yes students Uh, anyone yes let's see what is the present fifteen twelve okay yes yes if you under uh, anyone wants to ask anything to this one you can just raise your hand students yes after that we'll go for uh, once again we'll continue the reading yes.
if you understood this one actually in this chapter there are two types of paintings are expressed okay it is explained one is the european painting it is a totally figurative and another one is the chinese painting it is totally a, a figurative it is spiritual also ye track is spiritual hai where you are to enter into the what is the difference in that one and uh, for the chinese painting you have to enter into the mind of the painter so, uh, and where for the european painting it means you have to borrow the eyes i don't know just you can see the physically whatever uh, the painting is done whatever the things are drawn on the panel jo panel par draw ki gayi hai and what uh, whatever the painter wants you to see jo aapko dikhana chahta hai whereas in chinese painter you have to uh, enter into the mind of uh, painter whatever he has not created or uh, uh, whatever it is not visible with the eye naked eyes so eyes se nahi what is there in the mind exactly okay so the concept next one is this concept is expressed as shen shui shen shui actually it is a chinese word shen shui chinese word uh, mountain and water it means the mountain and water uh, this has come these are the two words very important words what is the Uh, actually shen and shu these are the two different words which used to together represent the word landscape both in shen shui is a landscape and what are there in the landscape means the wild place what can be there there can be water or there can be mountain proper mountain also more than two elements of an image means more than two elements it is one one is the actually one is uh, mountain another one is the water and the third one is the middle place that is the wild place us ko wild place ka and these re, uh, represents two complementary pole do ek dusre ke complementary opposite pole opposite pole reflecting daoist view daoist means the path daoist means the path view of the universe view of the universe now these two words are expressed this chinese word sensu and the mountain is yang yang is ko kehte mountain now what are the quality of mountain it is a uh, mountain mountain it is a um, actually masculine it represents masculine part and it is uh, horizontal it is horizontal it is stationary it is full of energy rather reaching vertically towards heaven and this is going uh, towards heaven vertically and uh, stable it is very stable warm these are the quality of yang rather you can say yang means mountain what is the quality of mountain yang or you can say male main representation and dry in the sun while the water is yin water kaisa yin it cannot be uh, actually vertical it can uh, see mountain it can be vertical but it cannot be vertical yin it is horizontal resting on the earth water it has to rest on the earth in between it cannot be made resting on the earth and the fluid it is fluid cool moist cool moist that is solid warm solid and warm this is the difference the interaction of yin and what is the interaction yin the receptive it receptive it receive okay yin it receives receptive feminine aspects of the universe energy means whatever the energy there it receives the energy is the energy ko receive karne wala and its uh, counterpart yang yang ko kya bolte active it is uh, this is receptive and yang is active now you can divide this one two things so okay, yang mountain how it is uh, vertical warm solid vertical warm solid and very active very active whereas yin water horizontal staying on the earth and it is very cool fluid and receptive and receptive aspects of the universe energy and it is counterpart to yang active and masculine and is of course the fundamental notion of the daoism these are the fundamental elements of the daoism daoism means where the paint in the painting where the path is shown where the direction is shown already it is mentioned that you can rule a territory the king can rule a territory over but the path but the direction is shown by the painters is shown by the painters or the artists or the artists what is often overlooked as an essential third element middle world now these two things already uh, you uh, it is mentioned two types of things one is the yin another one is the yang that is the part of sensu so sensu ka part now the third element is the 
medium void void means that you space void means empty space other things where the their interaction takes place both these things already two elements are mentioned where the interaction takes place wahan par unki jo interaction hoti hai that is known as the essence essential third element the middle void where the interaction takes place jahan par uski interaction okay students so for the today we have to cover, we will cover only this much now if you want to ask anything you can ask now yes if you want to ask anything otherwise you read and try to come uh, with your right uh, something writing material also you should bring so that you can note down the meaning and try to send your homework side by side apna homework bhejte rehna okay all of you i think only uh, very smart students there is that kirti vardhan is gone and try to send your homework everyone yes upender tanu abhay siddharth i think you are listening yes praj uh, paras mang vishesh sukhdev send your homework also the of the that poem us poem ka apna homework aap bhej dena all of you okay and try tell your friends so that they can also join because the our participation is very less students they are very uh, less students are attending this class in case you are having any problem you can tell we can change the method of teaching and all in case you want any other method which can um, uh, clarify your concept better certainly we will go for change if you want okay in case you are but until unless you are not telling anything we will not um, so we will consider that everything is going on then okay so students send your homework again if you want to ask anything i'll go for the uh, call last call if you want to ask anything you can ask okay let's see who is uh, ujwal raise your hand if everything is clear up to here yahan tak agar sab kuch clear hai you can raise your hand 